Today we're doing a really cool recreation. We're doing the bass from My Stripes by Braxton and Marsh and it sounds like this. And this is the recreation. Now both at the same time. Pretty damn close and let's fight the devil of sound design and let's get better at sound design. Stick to the end because there are really cool things in this tutorial. So let's dive in. We're gonna start over here with Serum. And you might think that this is a saw wave because it has a lot of harmonics in the sound, but this is actually a sign, but it's a sign and we're gonna introduce a lot of distortion into it. Just so you can see how it's gonna sound. This is a sign. And now when we introduce the distortion, which you're gonna do afterwards. Can you see how it introduces a lot of that character sound? But let's get back to the oscillators. Now here, sine wave, we're gonna also choose over here, filter, we're gonna choose MG low 24. And we're gonna put the frequency over here quite low because we only want the sub from it. And we also want to make it wobble as you listen in the original. It does this whoa, 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 which is really cool. So we're gonna pick this LFO over here and put it slightly over here, but just like a tiny bit. It's not even gonna make that much of a difference because we're gonna need the distortion afterwards to make this be a little bit more apparent. So in addition to that, we're also gonna boost a little bit of the drive to bring a little bit of the harmonics that will need this afterwards. Now, essentially that's it with the oscillator section. We're just gonna go now into the effects and first thing is distortion. You can see how much the harmonics are brought with the distortion over here. And we want this tube distortion because this is too soft and this is too aggressive. So tube distortion and after the tube distortion, we're gonna go into the filter. In the filter, we want something a little bit steeper than the DMG low six. So we don't want that much harmonics in the high end. So we're not only doing this, but we're gonna push this a little bit down as well. So we only have that low frequency from it, but we have to make it wobble. We have to make that whoa, 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 whoa. That's the initial sound. And we're gonna have to make it wobble until something like this. But if you listen to the original, you can notice a little bit of a different wobble. It's a different rhythm, right? This is whoa, whoa, whoa. And the original is whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a little bit faster. For us to achieve that rhythm, we have to choose the dot over here and activate here one eighth dot. And we want this to be triggered within every note. So we're gonna choose this trigger over here. So every note, it starts in the beginning over here. And if you want to go even further over here, we can just pick this over here, put it a bit higher and this. That's essentially it. But we still don't hear that much of that whoa, whoa, whoa. And that's because we don't have that much resonance. So with the resonance, we're gonna increase a little bit of the peak as over here. We're gonna increase the peak of the filter. Let's go back with this one. But we're gonna go over here and choose this to around something like this. Without it. And with it. Can you see how this whoa, whoa, whoa is added with the resonance over here? So now let's move on. We're gonna just choose over here an EQ because again, if you listen to the original, there's not much sub in the sound. There's too much sub over here. So we're gonna choose over here a low cut. And we're gonna also put this all the way down. But this becomes too quiet, doesn't it? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the compressor and we're just gonna boost the level here. But we don't want any compression. So we're just gonna open up this threshold all the way up. We only want volume and still need a little bit more volume. So here, But now if we listen, there is more bass in the original, isn't there? 
So now what we're going to do over here in the second one, we're going to choose this bell curve over here. In this bell curve, we're going to go here in the frequency and right around that base region, we're going to boost to around something like this. But we need to make it a little bit bigger. So we're going to just pick the Q over here and put it down. Maybe a, a bit too much volume now. In addition to that, and that's the cool thing about it. If you listen to the first note, the wobble is like, whoa, whoa, whoa. In the second note, the wobble is a little bit smaller. And then it wobbles again. So essentially, the first and the third note, the wobble is really big. And the second note is not that big. So how can we do this? How can we control this wobble and make it a little bit bigger in some notes and not so big in other ones? Essentially, what we're going to have to do is we're going to go here in the MIDI and you can see the MIDI of the sound. So we're playing G3, A3 and E3. And we're just going to pick the first note and raise the velocity and pick this third note and raise the velocity as well. Now we're going to go into Serum and in Serum, you're going to introduce the velocity as an auxiliary source for this LFO. But what is that? Essentially, when the velocity is at 0%, this modulation will be at 0%. When the velocity is at 100%, this modulation will be at 100%. So it's a modulation of the modulation. Smaller, bigger again. Really cool, isn't it? The other cool thing about this sound is that they have an automation over here right towards the end. If you listen to this note, it's not constant. It goes down and not in level, right? So this sort of variation is really cool to create sort of like a non-static baseline. And it's really cool to make your baselines more interesting and everything. And we can do it with a simple volume automation, as you can see it over here. And now it goes back to the original. And that's it. I hope you liked the video. And if you liked it, hit the like button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. If you have any recommendations, leave it here in the comment sections below. And I hope to see you soon in the next abstract video next week. Ciao.